Welcome back to Waterpark Rangers, let's play Pikmin 3. In the last episode, we went back to the Tropical Wilds, and when we were there, we ran into some new enemies called Swarming Shear Grubs. We found the other side of the, the bridge, across the water, and not much else. We didn't learn anything about the mysterious signal, and I'm not sure we're going to today. Oh yeah, there was something else we saw, a bomb rock. That was really curious, because, um, bomb rocks that can be wielded by Pikmin have been around since the original Pikmin game. So to see them used again by the Pikmin would be very interesting. Assuming it's the Pikmin that wield them and not the pilots, we're going to find out firsthand. There were also about um, some torch slugs, that's what I'm calling the pyroclasmic sluches, <laughs> uh, back near the area where we found the bombs, so I'm going to get together a nice mixed group to contend with whatever we might encounter. But perhaps more reds than others. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Let's go for it, guys. All right, cross the bridge, and yeah, it was around the left side. I love how the water looks in this game. I remember liking how the water looked in the original Pikmin more than in 2, and in some ways, I think the water in the original Pikmin is just some of my favorite water I've seen in the game, but I really like how it flows in this game with like the waterfalls and stuff. Now that is cool. Plus the fact that we can just chill out underneath this waterfall if we really want. If I really wanted, I could take out the gamepad and use the camera to look through that waterfall, but I don't really want to. <laughs> Not during this LP. Dirt Mound. Chances are there's more bomb rocks inside that dirt mound. Before we do anything, let's figure out what we can do about the- oh! New fruit! Um, shall we take it? It's just kind of sitting there. Okay, rocks. No, we have a lot of reds, so why not some reds? Okay, they should take it back without a problem. Meanwhile, we'll have the reds contend with these pyroclasmic solutions. Oh, I almost thought it ate Pikmin, but then we killed it and it didn't actually eat any. Ow! Looks like there was just enough fire left for us to run into it. You take damage slowly in this game. Like, that male shear grub was fighting Charlie like a million times. That would have killed Louis or Olimar probably, even with the Metal Suit Z. Let's move on down this road and see what else we can find. This is all new. Oh, I know where this is! This is where I turned around that one time after going really far and saying, you know, we've, we've walked really far, I'm not sure it's a good idea to go any further. New fruit recovered. Alright. That's the whatever we just picked up. That wasn't hard to get at all. That was like the easiest fruit we've found so far. Oh, I didn't expect them to take it that way. Let's just follow the Pikmin to make sure they don't run into trouble. Alright, they're red, so they're not going to be into any trouble at all. Yeah, nice try, suckers. We're gonna have to run past these guys, though. Oh, somehow we're losing Pikmin? Oh, it's because of the- Oh, God. There's a lot of them. Did- I just see one of them kill the other. I think I did. Either way, guys, nope, nope. You, died. you don't, you don't want to do that. You don't want to run back to where those fragments are. It's bad news. Bad news, boys and girls. Oh god! Orange Bulborb. People who played Pikmin 2 know that those don't mess around. Wow, an Orange Bulborb. Not anything I expected to just come across here. If I could just finish this bridge. Well, fortunately for you, Elfie boy, we can at least finish the bridge. I think I'm starting to understand better about the things we can get done in this area. Um, perhaps we can defeat that Orange Bulborb. By just throwing Pikmin at his eyes, though. I'm gonna try. Yeah, it appears to me that it'll be easier to beat because we can hit the eyes in this game. Yep, they're a lot easier to fight in this game because you can just hit the eyes. The eye weakness is so easy to exploit. And it looks... did you guys... Um... Where are you if you're not building this? Oh. Apparently you found fragments from somewhere else. How the heck are you getting these fragments? Sounds like someone is at work on a, a fence somewhere. Not sure I understand what the Pikmin are up to. Ooh. That's a, likely a buried fruit. But I'll handle that when the time comes. I'm just curious as to where my Pikmin have been going. This is... 
Pikmonology number 15, all Pikmin can dig holes. Okay. I thought as much. No, I know as much. Uh, the Pikmin didn't go over here, did they? Fire vents, not something I expected to find outdoors. Ah, nectar eggs. Let's use rocks to break them. Sweet. Alright, let's get some nectar up. Random fire vents. I mean, kind of cool, but random. And lots of walls that we need bombs to take care of. Okay. Oh, well, there's also this. Maybe we could get bombs out of this. Let's toss some yellows in, see if that gets the job done quicker. <laughs> yeah, just throw Charlie in and let him dig. Yeah, he's just like a pig digging for truffles. Ah! There's our bombs. Okay. Well, before the Pikmin get too eager, let's call them away from those bombs. Something got finished! What was that? They couldn't have finished that electric fence. Uh, regardless, let's just throw in one and see what happens. Ah! A red Pikmin and it picked it up! I found a peculiar rock with a powerful energy emanating from it. So it doesn't get mixed up with the other Pikmin. I'll make it selectable with C. Okay, so any Pikmin can carry bomb rocks in this game, evidently. All right, um, I see. I know there's a wall right here, but uh, I'm not sure how I feel about. Oh wait, no, that makes sense. It'll be. Let's try out just one bomb. Uh, which one is bomb? This is bomb. <laughs> He's like, wait, when he ran away. Oh, that didn't do much. Oh, okay. Maybe three will be enough. Sweet. Oh, bombs are cool in this game. Uh, 90 out of 99, so there's nine Pikmin running around somewhere being idiots, probably. Yeah, these are making me a little nervous. Let's get rid of them. Yeah, it's just, it's just safer if we throw it from a distance. They can't be- they, are, they don't kick Pikmin nearly as far in this game, evidently. Were there other fragments that I'm missing somehow? Let me just keep these Pikmin here for the time being. Oh! Oh god! It's a Peckish Aristocrab. New enemy. Um... Let's just keep our distance from it. Yeah, that's an unknown fruit. <laughs> I like this creature, it's cool. Um, this is a cool area, I just, this is a neat area. So going this way leads to that fiery place. Um, who knows what that is, something that can likely be dug up by yellows. Just so we find out what it is, let's try and use the yellows to dig it up and unearth it. They'll get it done, and then we'll find out what it is. Ah, it's a lemon! A face wrinkler. Let's get our rock pigment to contend with these guys. You gonna jump? Uh, they're a little more troublesome because they... They go back to their original position more quickly in this game. Come on, Pikmin. Ow! Oh god, no! Ah. Nice job, guys. This place is just full of fights. We also need to find those final shards to the bridge, though. Were they in this direction? Kind of getting lost. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's where that guy returned to. And there was more. We haven't finished that bridge. What we can at least do is take these berries back. Looks like more fruit up there. That should be easy to get. These look delicious. Man, I love fruit. Very tasty. 
It's actually kind of funny. Fruits, um, as a, like a random collectible, has been in video games forever, but typically not in any like plot point sense. At least not as far as I can remember. I mean, just think about it. There's been fruit in Pac-Man. I mean, you were collecting fruit in that, but not for any particular story-related purpose, as far as I can tell. Using fruit as a plot point seems a little odd. This is such a standard game mechanic. Oh, there's those are the missing fragments. I expected to find bombs. Okay, that clears things up. That's so funny. <laughs> I hate how the Drake sounds. Like, ah, ah, fruit recovered. Ah. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, I didn't think we'd have this many fragments. <laughs> this is just getting ridiculous. Is this- are they building the bridge to Terabithia? Just hurry it up. It's so ridiculous! <laughs> oh, that's so great. I love it. It also means we'll probably be able to take back some of those bodies and whatnot. Yo, guys. Glad to see you make it. Now I'm actually happy that you had that feature that lets you return to where you took the... Any fragments. You can go in and help them dig! Oh, 34, okay. Precisely 34, huh, Nintendo? Okay. Um... Guess there's 20 strays somewhere. Suppose I shouldn't be too concerned. Take him! Alright. Let's see, I hope that they're gonna build the bridge to the... Uh... Nope, come on guys. This way. Uh, you know, I'm not sure about those bodies. I want to find out exactly where we are and what I can do before I start making any assumptions. Once we have this bridge built, we'll go across it and see if there's any more enemies in the way. And if there are, we'll simply kill them. Just gotta stand here and whistle everyone who walks by, otherwise they're gonna die. Okay, there's still three strays, who knows where they are. I sure don't. Ah, another whip tongue. Let's take him down. You are no threat to me. Or my victim. Ah, there we go. And while I'm not sure where the final strays are, I know this much. If this has bombs, then we can use it to blow up that, um, that wall that's right nearby us. And that would be very helpful, of course. Let's see what it's got. Oh, there's the bombs. Precisely three? No, just two. Okay. I guess we'll have to make do with the bombs we have. One. <laughs> I love how the rock pickman's like, eh! One more. And if we only had one more bomb, alas. Alas, poor bomb Yorick. Now, there's three strays, but I don't know where they could possibly be, I'm sorry. Hey guys, you just stay here. Um, no, you guys are just gonna like, get yourselves in trouble, aren't you? Just, just stay here, okay? And I will try and walk just a little bit back, whistling frantically to no avail, because that's the most tragic thing I could think of doing. Nope. Ah, uh, Pikmin. They tried their best. It looks like we found an area with a lot more fruit, though, so that's good. Tons of fruit that seems to be easy to get. We'll just be sure to scoop that all up tomorrow. Reds and yellows. Nope, no clue where they could have been. That's crazy. It's weird, the Whiptong Bulborb is kind of white and brown, just like this uh, hairy Bulborb from Pikmin 2. 
but it doesn't seem to be winter based. And it doesn't look like the Harry Bulborb is in this game either. I can't wait to taste the new fruit. Lesser Mock Bottom. Mock Bottom, oh god. <laughs> yes, delicious butt juices. Only in Pikmin 3. Now these look scrumptious. You ever seen sea grapes before? I'm not sure how they taste, or if they taste good or at all, if they're edible. I know I've heard of sea grapes. And face wrinkler. I wonder how many of these we've got. I'd like if there were exactly two of them for the two leopard grabs. That would be great. That's probably worth one and a half, right? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, Pikmin 3. We've worked hard today, and now it's time for our reward. Good! We still have plenty of juice left. Today's results? Any populations went up? Uh, yellow actually went, well, just went down by one. That's kind of annoying. Not that I would have wanted more to die. I'm just saying it's kind of weird that it just went down by one. That had to be the one that was left behind at sunset. Yeah, that's got to be it. Alright. Journal entry for today? I'd like if Captain Charlie finally had one. Ah, it's just Alf again. Ugh. Several days have passed without any leads on the Cosmic Drive key. Searching for fruit is important, of course, but we really need to track down the signal that seems to be coming from Captain Olimar. The area where I first crashed. I have a feeling something big is there. Yeah, that can only mean that we're going to fight the third boss there. Chances are that's going to be what's at the end of that signal. But I don't see us getting to it anytime soon. Tomorrow we return to the Tropical Wilds yet again to search for more fruit. See you then.